There are regional initiatives underway, led by the President of Angola, President Lorenzo, and the President of Burundi, President Ndaishimiye, and the former President of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta. I thank these leaders, as well as the heads of state of this African community, for the crucial work they are undertaking, which Rwanda fully supports. We also commend them for agreeing to deploy a force to help stabilize Eastern Congo. However, these efforts will not bear fruit unless the unhelpful approach of the international community changes significantly. It is disappointing that the international community pays lip service to peace and actually ends up complicating matters which undermines the regional processes. After spending tens of billions of dollars on peacekeeping over the past two decades, the security situation in Eastern Congo is worse than ever. To explain this failure, some in the international community blame Rwanda, even though they know very well that the true responsibility lies primarily with the government of the Democratic Republic of Congo. We have had enough of this hypocrisy. It is high time that the unwarranted verification of Rwanda stopped. The reason this situation prevails is because DRC is unwilling or unable to govern its territory. Rwanda will not accept to bear the burden for the DRC's responsibilities. We have enough burdens of our own to bear, and we shall do so as effectively as we can.